All right, this is a video on how to download data from the Kaggle website. Um, so when, whether you're doing a full competition or you're doing one of these little learning challenges or getting started prediction competition in this case, um, you're going to need to download the data set. Uh, the fastest and easiest way to do that is to use this little Kaggle API or, or a library, if you will, uh, to download the data set. So I'm on a Linux computer, so I'm going to go ahead and use my terminal. And what I'm going to try first is just running that command. So Kaggle competitions download-c titanic. So when I run that it says Kaggle command not found. That means I actually need to download the library. So I do pip install Kaggle. This will actually get me the library and you'll actually see it runs. We're good going through there and we're all set. So if I hit the up arrow a couple times I can go ahead and run that again and let's see how we do. Okay something happened uh, but I have an error. So here it says could not find Kaggle.json and then to make sure that it's located in the following folder. So in order to uh, get this folder, or excuse me, file, I'm going to actually have to navigate over here to my user account and I have it op opened up right here. And I'm going to have to create a new API token. So I go ahead and click that, go ahead and hit save file. And now that's going to go straight to my download. So what I can do is just go to my current directory, set it to downloads and list what's on there and you'll see I have a kaggle.json file now. Now I need to move it to this folder so home dash jwallen.cag uh, dash dot cag. So what I'm going to do is type mv for move and kaggle and I'm going to set the directory it's going to so I'm going to go ahead and use the squiggly line for home dash dot kaggle and be sure to make a file name. If you don't it's going to say that it's saving that as dot kaggle which will cause some problems because um, the dot designates that this is actually an invisible file or folder um, so it's going to be hard to find so I need to make sure that I'm saving it as kaggle.json so I'm moving it I'm going I'm moving the correct file moving it to the right correct folder with the correct file name and what I'm going to do is now go to the uh, dot kaggle folder search it and you'll see I have it listed there now we're going to have to run that same command where we get the um, Titanic data set. But we're probably going to want to put it in a folder that we designate to be the uh, folder we want to use. So what I'm going to do is look in here. Let's go ahead and make a directory. I'm going to call it Kaggle. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's see if we have it now. There it is, Kaggle. So now I'm going to go to my current directory, go to that Kaggle folder, and now I'm going to dig all the way back through my uh, commands, and I'm going to go ahead and run that data set. And there we go. It's all set. Um, it does say that my API key is readable by other users on the system. To fix it, I can run this command. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and run that command. So I just right-click, hit copy, go ahead and paste it. There we go. Um, all right, so there's one catch here. It's a zip file, and I, for me, I'm on a, a Linux computer, which zip files are kind of difficult. Um, but for uh, other users, uh, Windows computers can be fairly easy to unzip that. For me, I just I downloaded something called I think it's called unzip. In fact, so what I'm going to do is just type unzip and the file name, and I go ahead and now I have my CSV file. So you have the gender submission, uh, test.csv, and the train.csv. So everything's all set. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, for me, uh, when I first started, it was very annoying to figure out um, what that uh, Kaggle.json file was. I tried creating one. I tried just adding an empty one. Um, so hopefully this helps you uh, navigate that. 